All right, so the homework for tonight, I'm going to go over the slope homework for tonight, okay? All right, so um, when equations are written in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, where there's a number in front of x, and there's a number that has no variable attached to it. X doesn't have any exponents. X is not on the bottom of a fraction. This is called the slope-intercept form. When equations are written in that form, the number that's attached to X is going to be your slope. The number attached to X is going to be your slope. So the number that's attached to X here is 4, so your slope here is 4. The number that's attached to X here is uh, negative 1 half, so slope is negative 1 half. Okay? Let's look at number 3 and number 4. Number 3, your line as x increases, y is decreasing, your line is going down, your m is going to be a negative number. It's going to be a negative slope. What you do is pick two good points on the line. Here's a good point that you can read, which is positive 2 and 0. Another good point in which you could read is right here at 0 and 3. So now I'm going to use the formula rise over run. Your rise is how far you go up and down to get to a point. Your run is how far you go from left to right to get to a point. Okay? So rise, I go up. One, two, three. Three is my top number. Positive three because I went up. Run, I go over to the left two. So my bottom number is negative two. Make sure that your fraction is reduced, which this is. So my answer is going to be negative 3 over 2. Or you can keep it like this, or you can write it as negative 3 over 2. Same thing, okay? All right, I do this the same way. Pick two good points on the line. You can pick this point right here, uh, 0, negative 3. And another good point to choose is right here at, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven and zero okay count rise over run of course your slope here is going to be a positive number because the line is going up okay all right number five you pick two good points okay so it doesn't matter i'm gonna choose zero and two and then i'm gonna choose one and negative one so now i'm gonna label my points the first point x1 y1, second point, x2, y2. I'm going to use the slope formula. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay? I'm going to substitute the numbers into the formula. So I have negative 1 minus is a part of the formula, uh, 2. On the bottom I have uh, 1 minus is a part of the formula, 0. So on the top, this gives me a negative 3. And on the bottom, this gives me 1. So my answer is going to be negative 3. Okay? Again, you pick two points. Doesn't matter what two points when you're given a table. Just pick any two points. And you do the same process again that I did here. For this bottom one, again, label x1. Oops, sorry. Y1, X2, Y2. You use the formula for slope. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And you substitute these numbers into the formulas. So here, negative 2 on the top. Minus is a part of the formula. 4. Okay? X2 on the bottom negative 1. Minus is a part of the formula. 5. So this is going to give you negative 6 on the top, negative 6 on the bottom. Negative divided by negative is a positive, so m here is positive 1. Okay? All right. So you're going to do number 8 the same way. All right, y'all. Have a good one. If you have more questions, just let me know tomorrow, okay? Bye.